Hi guys, it's Kelly. Welcome to another video. And today I'm going to be talking about Amavig, which is the new migraine prevention medication that was FDA approved for migraine prevention in May of 2018. The first medication ever approved specifically for preventing migraine. I am one of those people who did not find help from any treatment for migraine until I met Amavig. I was one of the first people to get it after it was out on the market. And so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my experience, how I inject it to myself. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section and I will get to them as soon as I can. My shirt says you choose. You're gonna choose this, you're gonna choose this. You can have a really, really hard time, but that doesn't mean that you have to have this life. I really believe in choosing joy and it doesn't necessarily mean happiness. Happiness is not what it's all about. It's about having a good life. One of the first things I got in the mail was this red sharks container, which it didn't say who it was from. It didn't say the company that makes Amavig. I just got this in a box. It was before I had ever even received the medication. I don't know what's going on here. This is very confusing. This is this biohazard regulated medical waste. Why would somebody send me a sharps container? Amavic. This is a huge thing for 12 a year. To put the used injection needles into here. And then when this fills up, I will mail it back to the company. They gave me a box to mail it back to them. And then they'll mail me an empty one of these. They take care of everything. I am about to open my third dose of Amavig. And I did my first dose in my doctor's office with the nurse to learn how to give it to myself. Hold the skin taut, push down, click. I pull the skin taut. Yes. Okay. And then push down. And then you wait for your second click. Oh. There you go, and that's it. I'm nervous. <laughs> I didn't okay. expect most to people, be nervous. Most people are. And then you wait for your second click. Four weeks later, I got my second dose. This is my box of Amavig that came yesterday. And I've got really severe vertigo. Unfortunately, there was a huge mix up as I was trying to get my third dose. I'm the first group of people who were trying to get their third dose. The first two doses of Amavig are free. Trying to get the insurance to cover the third dose was tricky because I was on Botox, but I won't cover both Botox and Amavig. This is my fourth time. And the last injection I had was unfortunately 12 days late. This is the fifth time I've done this. First time that I am doing my Amavig with this little guy. And it comes in this big box and then in the cooler because it has to stay refrigerated. These are huge ice packs. But because I'm wanting to take it today, I need to take it out of the ice and it has to sit out for 30 minutes. Once it's been out of refrigeration, it can't be re-refrigerated. It actually can stay room temperature for about a week. Here it is. I'm gonna note the time, getting it out of the cold right now. I'm gonna put my timer on for 30 minutes. My brain is such a scramble right now because the vertigo is so severe, it's very hard to think. I have a pretty bad migraine right now. I really don't feel good, so I am trying to get this done. I've got bad vertigo, I've got a migraine, and I've got a chest cold. I think I actually have a fever going on. All right, so what was in the cooler here was the Amavig box. This is a tracker and it tells you if the medication got too warm during transit. So it says that if this stop were pink or red, that it would mean that the medication was overheated. They send two alcohol swabs to sterilize the site, two sterile alcohol prep pads. This is what the Amavig box looks like when it comes in the mail. There are two doses right now that are being prescribed for people. One is a 70 milligram dose, and then the dose that I'm taking is the 140 milligram, which means two injections. This is what it looks like when you open up the box. There is the patient instructions, which is really important to read, especially if you have not been taught how to do this by your nurse at your doctor's office. My migraine and headache specialist office put together this sheet so that I make sure to do everything correctly. Because this is only once a month, it's really important that I get it right. They have 
has all this information, but this is my fourth time, so I've done it. I kind of review each time. This is an auto injector, so it injects the medication without me actually having to push the medication in. It does it itself. This is what the actual Amavig looks like. I take the stopper out and underneath there is the needle. The needle will inject into my leg and slowly it will inject the medication into my leg. It's subcutaneous, so it goes into the skin. I can inject this on the back of my arm, which I would have somebody else do, in my stomach or in my thigh. And the thing about the stomach is that the fat moves around so much that it's hard to get a good uh, resistance because you have to push it into the body for the injector to allow you to push the button. I depressed this purple button. The instructions they call it blue, but it's purple. For migraine and headache awareness, I'm sure. Somebody has suggested to me that possibly because it's cold, it might have been hurting me more when I injected it. So I left this out for a good hour and a half. It's been sitting out for a while, so hopefully it won't hurt at all. I've found that it actually doesn't hurt when I inject it in my leg if it's been out of the fridge for a good amount of time. I'm excited to finally get my third dose. Here we go. I'm going to be administering the Amavig medication, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. This is not meant to tell anyone else how you're supposed to do it. Make sure you listen to what your doctor tells you. Nothing I'm saying here is intended to be a medical advice, just to show you what I do and what my experience is. That's what it looks like right next to me. I washed my hands. I don't remember which leg I did it in last time. I bet I did it in my right the first time, left second time, right third time, and left the fourth time. So it's probably the right. Just alternating. I am a little bit nervous because I know that it hurt last time. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to use the sterile alcohol pad, opening up the sterile alcohol wipe. Let me open this up. I'm nervous. Normal to be nervous when you're doing an injection. So basically when you clean something with a sterile alcohol, start in the center and circle out. Start cleaning from the inside and then gradually go out. The circle out motion so that you're not mixing it around <laughs> or getting dirt and pulling it into your clean area. And then let it dry. Don't do this, just let it air dry. <sighs> and I think it's also a little bit nerve wracking. It's not necessarily because of the pain, because I deal with a lot of pain. I think it's more nerve wracking because of the fact that it's pretty important to get it right the first time. So while that is air drying, I'm going to take out the white stopper at the bottom of the aim of it. I don't want to look at the needles like this with a good grip off, because it's hard to remove that. It's a little bit hard, there we go. So this is the plug that I pulled out. Now the needle underneath is exposed. And then in there, I don't know if you can see, but there's a needle. There we go. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a needle in there. After we take this out, I have to inject it within five minutes. When I put this on my skin, I wanna make sure that the window is so I can see it. I should hear it click twice, once when it injects, and a second time when it's finished and the needle retracts. I wanna make sure I get all of the medication in there, but sometimes the pen doesn't actually click a second time, so being able to see that this window is completely yellow means that I've gotten all the medication. So I'm gonna spread the skin to make it taut. Put it there, make sure I can see the window. Make sure I see the window, see I almost didn't do that. I'm going to depress it into my skin so it's flat against my skin, 90 degree angle. And then I'm gonna press the button. You'll hear the click. I'll wait for the second click and I'll be done. I'm not gonna talk while I do it. Click, here we go. Holy crap, that hurts. And done. All right, that's done. I did feel the needle this time. And then out. And I am bleeding a little bit. And I forgot band-aids. Ah, leaking out a little bit. Whoops, I'm bleeding. Always learn something. Trying to keep the blood from rolling down my leg. <laughs> got a little bit of medication that came out too. I just have a little bit of medication dripping out of that hole. It's totally normal. I've got just a teensy bit of blood coming out, so I'm gonna use my little cotton swab thing just to dab it. Don't wanna depress the area where I've injected because I don't wanna press out the medicine that is in my leg. I've given myself injections that are much deeper into the thigh, but it does hurt. Man, this stings. I better just do the other one before I... Ha, ta, 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 ta. 
it really stings. But you can't press on it. This is why I want to do one in each leg, but then I'll have two bad legs. Oh, dang it. It hurts. It hurt last time, too. This, it burns and stings like with a Toradol. I am good with my first injection. Some people, that's all they do. For me, I will be doing a second one, and actually, that did not hurt as badly as it has in the past. So I'm wondering if that recommendation to make sure it sits out long enough and maybe isn't as cold helped. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. That's a good yeah. recommendation. Yeah, it still hurts, but it's yes. not like it was. This is the second injection. If I have to get a good pull. Pulling the second plug out. Out. So you can kind of see the needle in there. And my thigh is hurting a little bit. Oh, it's getting more and more painful. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my second alcohol prep pad, the sterile prep pad. So the reason that I sterilize it again is because I just you know, put that injection in. I guess I could have waited to put the bandit on, but I don't want to do it in the exact same spot where I did the other one. I have to clean it again. You know. Waiting for the alcohol to evaporate a little bit. Then let it air dry for a minute. It is stinging, stinging, stinging. You can see there's this little edge that's sticking out at the end of the injector. That's the thing that I have to depress into my skin and make flush with my skin. So there is a good amount of pressure I'm putting into the thing that has to be depressed for the injector to come out. I'm gonna put the window so I can see it. Making sure I can see the window. I'm gonna do it so that you guys can see. Flush, press the button. Stop pushing. That was probably because I have to push it more. The needle didn't inject when I pressed the button just there. That's because I didn't have enough pressure on the thing. It needs me to push it down harder. So I'm gonna depress it like that, depress it like that, and then here I'm gonna click the button. see it but I heard the second click watching the yellow one wait for the click pull it up and we're done so here we go I'm so glad I don't have to use that sorry I just swore I'm so glad I don't have to do this more than once a month I almost started crying it was so bad I mean I do have a gentamicin injection in my ear I think I'd be able to do this I don't want to scare myself for next time <laughs> or anyone else there are people that say they don't feel pain at all dang so this one's not bleeding like the other one but it did have a little bit of medication that's one of the injection sites you can see the circle from where I depressed it and then that's the injection where it went in so there's just a little bit I'm gonna dab it don't depress it don't want any of that medicine that's precious coming back out and I am done. I do feel the needle. The first couple injections that I had done were actually painful. I thought maybe the first time was being a little bit overwhelmed or whatever, but that burned. But now the burn is getting better. I'm gonna put ice on it. I'm sure it'll continue to get better. I think it's actually the medication that's stinging me. The medication was still cold. It has been a lot easier than it was the last time. I'm happy about that. These are a little bit painful, but not super painful. What I did is I left it out for like a couple hours and that way the medication really got room temperature. You can leave the medicine out for seven days before use. So I am actually bleeding a lot more than I expected. Man, I'm pretty good with pain. Basically, I just kept telling myself it's gonna be over here in a few seconds. Ugh. It's worth it though, my goodness. I'm so thankful. Man, it's still burning. I'm really thankful for it. I am, I'm just really thankful because it's changing my life. These are changing my life. The nurse who taught me how to do this at my migraine specialist office told me that some people actually threw the sharps containers away because they didn't know what it was for. So I should unscrew it like this and I just put the injector in there. And I'm going to put these in here. I often put the white part back on just so that it's covering it and I don't accidentally get nicked by the needle or anything. Screw it back on, put it up in a high place where nobody can get it, kids, animals. It is so exciting to be able to finally have this medication back in my body. It is over a week and a half late. The nurse at the doctor's office said that having kind of a three to four day window is okay, but this is a lot longer. My last treatment was 12 days late. My migraines just really, unfortunately, in the last month have not done as well as they did in the beginning. I'm just really glad to be getting back on schedule. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please 
ask them in the comment section and I will see you real soon. Remember, you are not alone. Take care, bye. Used to think I had to do it on my own, but I'm never alone now.